I think creativity is applicable to any field of endeavor. I mean, I have a cousin who's a mathematician and my wife is a neuroscientist, and they are always trying to find creative ways to solve problems. And I think the key to that is having a wide, uh, a wide basis of experience to draw on. And even in my art class, I often find myself pulling in, say, metaphors from neuroscience that I just sort of picked up from my wife. And I think that that's the kind of thing that any teacher could do, is that if you have a very wide uh, basis of, of experience, then you're always going to be able to draw on things that appeal to people and that people kind of intuitively understand. And that's what you need to do in order to teach them creative problem solving. A lot of times, art students in particular come into um, my class confusing creativity and originality. So what they're trying to do is not so much uh, solve the, the problems that everyone can see, but they're trying to do something that nobody has ever done before. And uh, while that's certainly a laudable goal, you have to walk before you can run. And so they need to learn how to solve the million garden variety problems that we've all solved before and we've all learned to solve before they can move on to doing something completely unique that no one's ever done before. So I think that's the main unlearning that, that we need to do. I think it's really important for students to learn creativity in a professional setting because even though my students are going to be artists, they're still going to have jobs and they're going to need to work for people and they're going to have clients and they need to, to please those clients. So uh, in order to get them to that stage, one thing that I do is um, I just keep professional standards for them, that I don't lower my standards and say, oh, well, they're students, so I only have to judge them to this lower level. For me, creativity is finding um, original solutions to difficult problems.